It's been nearly 22 months since football was last played in the Husky Stadium, and the August 31st opener against Boise State couldn't come soon enough for the UW faithful and their favorite team. Three days before the Huskies hit the field and 70,000 fans filled the seats, the doors to the stadium were open to the media for a sneak peek at the massive $280 million renovation project. When addressing the media, Athletic Director Scott Woodward stressed the importance of showcasing UW football's storied history and tradition throughout Husky Stadium, right down to having the 1991 National Championship trophy on display just inside the doors to the dog pack entrance. Speaking of which, the dog pack was a hot topic concerning the renovations to the stadium as students were not pleased to learn they had been moved from the 50-yard line to the west end zone to allow for an increase in revenue through ticket sales. Dog pack, say hello to your new view of Husky Stadium. But here's some good news for students as these dog bites concession stands will offer food and drink to students at a discount on game days, with a valid student ID of course. Down at field level, the turf has been lowered four feet and the track surrounding the field has been removed completely, bringing the fans of the purple and gold closer to the action than ever. However, no more track does mean no more helmet car roaming the sidelines. Rest in peace, helmet car. You are gone but not forgotten. Now it's on to the player coach facilities, where inspirational words surround the Huskies until the moment they run out of the tunnel and onto the field under the mantra, expect to win. Thought football happens all on the field? Not the case here on Montlake, where Huskies meet to discuss strategy and tactics and watch film in these rooms before practices and leading up to game days. And no $280 million stadium is complete without its own barbershop. Next, we headed into the weight room, where Huskies were hard at work keeping their bodies in peak physical condition for Boise State and the upcoming season. After a long day on the field, players can head into the trainer's offices to receive treatment for their aches and pains on these tables as well as in these cold tubs, hot tubs, and hydrotherapy pools. It wouldn't be Husky football without the purple and gold, and this fitting room is where players get suited up to play. As well as have a place to keep all of their extra gear. The upper levels of the stadium feature the recruiting lounge, coaches' offices, and a brand new seating area simply known as Club Husky. Featuring concession stands and a full service bar, Club Husky is also home to the patio suites. Up another level is the luxury suites, complete with a private dining area and quite possibly the most comfortable seats known to man. Needless to say, the luxury suites live up to their name and offer one of the best seats in the house in the new Husky Stadium. And if those suites aren't sweet enough for you, check out Touchdown Terrace, where seats are a mere 21 feet away from the end zone and sell for around $500 a pop. Even with the opener just a little more than 72 hours away, the finishing touches were still being put on Husky Stadium. These include the visitor's locker room and a few sets of stairs leading to the stands, but Woodward assured that everything would be ready to go come 7 p.m. on August 31st. Well, there you have it. The wait is finally over, Husky fans. When Coach Sark and the team run out of the tunnel and onto the field, and the opening kickoff is sent high into the Seattle sky, it will officially be football season on Montlake once again. Now only one question remains. Are you ready? Wow.